Hi, this is Landon Ritchie from Design Visionaries, and today we are going to show you about NX9 sketching constraints. Um, as you can see, I got NX9 loaded. Um, it looks much different than 8.5. The user interface is uh, a little more reminiscent of um, Solid Edge and SolidWorks. Uh, so for starters, we're going to go ahead and uh, create a sketch on some plane. doesn't matter which one. So we're going to start with our sketch right now. And the first thing I want to do is, um, I don't know how you guys feel about it, but I really dislike continuous auto-dimensioning, especially when you're doing something complex. The uh, dimensions just get everywhere. <laughs> I mean, they cover the entire sketch. You can't really see what you're doing. Um, for something small, I guess it's okay, but I, personally, I, I just like to turn it off. So I, I just have to make sure that it's off. And um, then we're going to go ahead and uh, start sketching. Uh, now I'm going to go orient the sketch. It's it's hidden in here now. It used to be by the, uh, the little sketch button, but now you have to go dig down here and, and find it there. So Now we're going to start by creating a few uh, circles. Just random sizes. doesn't really matter. The point is right now we're going to show you uh, the constraints. So um, in the constraint mode, there's this uh, setting, maybe on or off on your end, uh, automatic selection progress. Now, I'm pretty fond of the old geometric constraint because you just click what you need and the constraints pop up. I, there, I guess there was a lot of people that um, wanted to know what constraints were available, so they changed the dialog to show you everything. So the thing that we want to use is equal radius. Um, when this is on, you'll notice that... Um, if I wanted to say, let's let's go ahead and start by making this, giving a dimension to it so that it stays the correct size. Uh, we'll just say 100 for now. Okay, close that. With automatic selection prog progression on, um, you're going to click, and then you're going to want to, in, let's say that we wanted to make all of these circles the same size as the original here that I dimensioned. So normally you'd want to click the uh, original and then you'd want to start clicking the next ones. Well, when you do that, you notice that suddenly it only counted for this one circle. So to fix that, you have to um, turn off automatic selection progress progression. So we're going to undo, go to geometric constraints. We're going to turn this off. And what we want to do is we want to select this guy this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy, and we want them all to be the same size as this one. And as you can see, they are all constrained to this particular dimension. So if I were to change this to, uh, say, 150, they all update together. Um, and that is the end of this tip. And uh, if there's any confusion about trying to constrain more than one object, uh, make sure to turn off automatic selection or progress selection. Thanks.